Hey guys, Shane here with eTR.com. Today we're going to be taking a look at the best wiring options for your 2017 Subaru Crosstrek. Here on your left, we're going to have the Kurt. Here in the center, we're going to have the Takancha. Here on your right side, we're going to have the Hopkins. Now all three of our wiring harnesses are going to be very similar. They're all going to mount the same way. Uh, let's come over and take a closer look at our Kurt. Our Kurt is actually going to have a ground wire that we're going to have to mount where the other two we're not going to. It's all, all three of them are going to give us the four pole connection. It's going to give us our brake lights, our running lights, and our turn signals. You'll notice on the Kurt how the wires are coming in each side of the converter box. With our Hopkins, our Hopkins is going to do the same thing. With our Takancha, it's actually going to come out one end. Let's go ahead and take a look at Takancha here. If you notice on the Takancha, there's a potting material in there. What this does is it fills a hole inside of this converter box and it really holds the wires onto the circuit board better than the other two if there's an issue with vibration where this box uh, if it happens to come loose or something the Takanchi and the Hopkins tend to fail because the wires break free from the circuit boards. With our curtain or Takanchi these two are designed to live inside the vehicle, but if we come down to our Hopkins, our Hopkins, as I mentioned, wires are gonna come in each side of the converter box to connect onto the circuit board. But if we flip the box over, on the back, it's gonna tell us what each of the wires do, where the other two are not gonna give us that option. Also, the Hopkins is designed for outside the vehicle. It's gonna come with a rubber grommet to replace the one in the vehicle if you're gonna run it outside. Now, that being said, doesn't mean you can't run the Takanchi and the Kurt outside the vehicle. Uh, you're just going to have to use the existing grommet thirty there, put a little slice in it, you can run the wire out, and use a little bit of silicone to fill in around the wire that's running through the grommet. Now, our Kurt and our Takanchi are going to have fuses on their wiring where the Hopkins is not. The benefit of that is we're not relying on just the fuse, the factory fuse, for the wiring. Uh, this is a secondary safety device for the Kurt and Kancha that if for some reason there is a wiring issue, it's gonna blow this fuse before it blows the factory fuse. Now, as far as the converter boxes, converter boxes are very important. This is what is gonna protect your factory wiring from any back feed from the trailer if there's a wiring issue. With our Kurt, we're gonna have three amps per circuit for a stop and turn signal, six amps per circuit for our tail lights. To Concha, we're going to have 2.1 amps per circuit for our stop and turn signal, 5.6 amps per circuit for our taillights, and Hopkins does not offer that information. Each one of these is going to come with a dust cap. To Concha, it's going to be attached where our Curtin or Hopkins, it is going to come separate. You have to put it on. Um, out of my, for my personal opinion, if I had to pick one for my Subaru, I'm going to go with To Concha. With the potting material inside the box, it's really going to hold up well against vibration where with the Kurt and the Hopkins they tend to fail because they don't have that potting material holding those wires onto that circuit board really well. That's going to do it for a look at the best wiring options for your Subaru Crosstrek.